Hello everyone, this is the Technodog channel. Today I'm going to talk about the best motherboards on the new top-end AMD X570 chipset that supports PCI Express 4.0 and future Zen 3 Ryzen 4000 processors. It's going to be interesting, so watch the video to the end. Smash the like button, subscribe and click on the bell. This will greatly help us to keep developing the channel. All links to all the disassembled models are in the description of the video. Let's get started. The Gigabyte X570UD is one of the most inexpensive motherboards based on the latest top-end AMD chipset. It kept the key features of this chipset, including support for the new version of PCI Express and compatibility with the expected Zen 3. What did the manufacturer save on? There is no built-in backlight, but the element base, connector layout and cooling are at a very decent level, although there is something to complain about, the number of ports. I would like to see not just one M2 for connecting a high-speed solid-state drive, but at least a couple. Still, the appetites of modern games in relation to the volume of occupied space are growing every year. Let me say a few words about heat dissipation. The chipset fan is competently located, heat sinks demonstrate high efficiency and allow you to use even the hottest multi-core Risen in both automatic and manual overclocking. Although the latter is often meaningless, the Intellectual Technology Precision Boost 2 is very good. In the arsenal of the X570UD, there is no newfangled LED illumination, built-in wireless interfaces, and various marketing bells and whistles but there is everything you need for a gamer or working configuration of any class. The MSI X570A Pro is another model based on the AMD's new chipset. Apart from its well-thought-out wiring and ease of self-assembly, it has two M2 connectors for SSDs and a good set of USB ports, including Type-C, which is gaining popularity. The manufacturer emphasizes that the product is intended primarily for enthusiast gamers and advanced users. But even a beginner in the world of computer technology can easily use it. Those who prefer high-quality sound will also appreciate this model. In comparison with any installation from 2010 to 2012, the Realtek ALC1220 offers a fundamentally different sound level and 7.1 support. There is also an optical audio output. Even if you are assembling a system with a serious level of energy consumption and heat dissipation, the X570A Pro will pull it. This is indicated by the power subsystem. The MSI MPG X570 Gaming Plus attracts attention not only with a rational layout of elements and wide functionality, but also with the presence of backlighting even in its simplest way through highlighting the inscription through text to light. The set of connectors and interfaces is almost the same as that of A Pro, considered earlier. It is not surprising that there are radiators on the power subsystem and a rather large fan on the chipset. By the way, it does not always work, but only when a certain temperature threshold is reached. The rest of the time, the board is normally cooled in passive mode. I especially note the location of the connectors for cabinet fans. They are assembled in one place, which is quite convenient, but can occasionally be a problem when using propellers with short cables. The Gigabyte X570 Gaming X is another model from the manufacturer that has been tested for decades and equipped with a 10 plus 2 phase power subsystem, massive radiators and an integrated chipset fan. You probably already noticed the presence of the latter as a feature of the rather hot X570. Like competing companies, Gigabyte in this segment does not save on connectors, although the lack of USB Type-C, which has become familiar to advanced motherboards, is a little disappointing. But this time, there are two M2 ports for solid-state drives. Probably, after a couple of years, you can already buy a 2TB at the price of a terabyte, which eliminates the need to delete games after passing. However, there are some drawbacks, and if one of them is quite subjective, unusual after some ASUS BIOS. ASRock traditionally offers the same or even more functionality at a lower price than its competitors, 
The X570 Extreme 4 is cheaper than almost all solutions based on the same set of system logic. It also has an amazing set of connectors, including a couple of M2, 8 SATA, and a bunch of USB, among which there are also the newfangled Type-C and 3.2 Type-A. There is also an optical audio output, and the same built-in Realtek ALC1220 7.1 codec is responsible for outputting sound just like with the previously reviewed MSI models. In terms of price-performance ratio, the ASRock model without a doubt is currently one of the best on the market. Although, there are some disadvantages in its layout like the chipset fan is too high, distance between the processor and the video card is small. Such brands like Republic of Gamers and Strix are well known to fans of ASUS products. They are associated with high quality and not the most affordable price. This is also true of the X570F gaming model. Not every gamer is ready to pay more than $280 for a motherboard. What does this Taiwanese company offer for such a price? They are the advanced wiring, a wide range of connectors including M2, SATA and USB 12 plus 4 phase power subsystem, built-in backlight with Aura Sync synchronization technology and much more. The radiators here have not only a chipset and a power supply, but also both M2 sockets, which is a characteristic feature of the Elite ROG family. If you are one of those enthusiasts who prefer efficiency combined with spectacularity, the ASUS ROG Strix will be a good option for you. One of the main advantages of the Gaming Pro Carbon Wi-Fi is encrypted right in the name of this motherboard. The built-in wireless module. It supports not only Wi-Fi, but also Bluetooth. Other characteristics didn't let us down either. Of course, you can notice that the MSI model has only six, not eight, SATA connectors. But how often do you need so much in practice? The set of USB ports here is just like with the top-end motherboards. Alas, the X570 motherboard with a price tag of $280 is now a mid-budget option. By the way, there is an unobvious advantage. The first PCI Express slot is not only additionally strengthened, but also located quite far from the processor, which allows you to mount cooling systems of any level. For paranoid people who are afraid of a sudden internet shutdown, the flash BIOS button function can be useful. This allows you to update the BIOS with one button, connecting an external medium with pre-downloaded firmware. In conclusion, I'll say that all potentially hot elements are equipped with their own radiators, so the motherboard is suitable for configurations of any level. If you need a backlog for the future in the form of support for PCIe 4.0 and Wi-Fi with Bluetooth right out of the box, the MSI model deserves your attention. The ASUS ROG Crosshair 8 Hero is the most expensive motherboard in today's review. It has some unique features compared to competitors, for example, two network controllers at once allow you to optimize the work with small packages, most often used in online games and buttons to return to settings BIOS or trying to restart the system. All this magnificence is complemented by beautiful lighting, an impressive power subsystem, and plenty of USB ports and connectors for connecting additional fans and LED rulers. Both overclockers and aesthetics will be satisfied too. ASUS has also stocked up several programs for the overclockers that help in selecting the optimal settings and operating modes for overclocking. To summarize, the board came out quite expensive, but it is worth considering in combination with proprietary software. If you enjoyed watching this review of the best motherboards on the AMD X570 chipset, like this video, subscribe to the Technodog channel and click on the bell under this video to always be the first to watch new reviews, comparisons, tops and ratings. All links to the reviewed models are in the video description. Thank you and see you soon.